What is going on guys, Game Taco here. So today we are going to look into how to get the Animal Crossing DLC uh, armor kits and weapons for our Palicos. As you can see, I have Taco back there in an Isabel costume and Isabel is freaking amazing. So that's why I'm going to show you how to do this. The quest is a little bit confusing at first, but it's really, really simple. Um, so that's, this is one of the costumes that you can get. You can also get Mr. Rossetti. They have a an armor piece for each set for Mr. Rossetti and Isabel, and then they also have their own weapon. But I can uh, show you those once we get into the quest. So this is a high rank. High rank DLC, going to events. And it's called Animal Crossing Fisher King. So um, yeah, we have to fish in this, which kind of sucks. And also, a thing that you should probably know is that you, you can't bring any items on this quest. So uh, as you can see, I can't accept it because I'm not eligible because I have stuff in my inventory. So let's go ahead and empty my inventory real fast. Just got some paintballs and dung bombs. Now we can go ahead and actually accept the quest. Okay, so we have to deliver a blue marlin. First thing you want to do, come over to the supply chest. Make sure you grab a far caster. I'm going to grab the dunk bombs just because I won't have to farm them. <laughs> I'll just uh, stash them in my, uh, in my chest and forget about them. And then also make sure you grab the barrel bomb. So, oh, I'm going to grab a map real fast too. So, we have to head up to area 4. First off, we have to catch another fish in order to open up the the um, area 9, which is where the marlin spawns. And also, I am... Uh, armor doesn't really matter in this quest because it's just fishing. There is a hermitar wandering around somewhere, but it's not really um, a threat at all. Alright, so what we're looking for is a long, narrow fish that spawns in this pool right here. You can see a couple of them. You, all you need is one. And I screwed that up. All right, so we got the bomb fish. Now let's head down into area seven. So if you're listening, you'll notice that uh, these Animal Crossing costumes, they are very, very, very noisy. Which might be a bad thing. I mean, the armor is already 7, so the defense isn't too terrible, but... Uh, they make a lot of noise. And I don't know about you, but... Um, the Animal Crossing language isn't too appealing. But they do look adorable, so maybe that's worth it. Alright, so... We just put the bombs down, we blow that up. You do need two bombs to in order to uh, blow it up, so that's why we took the, um, that's why we both caught a fish and we also took the barrel bomb. Alright, so obviously you have to catch those really big things. Those are the marlins. Now it's kind of tricky because um, they're really hard to catch, at least for me. Maybe I'll get lucky. No, I'm just going to catch these little uh, brown ones the horse mackerels, just so that more fish spawn, like another marlin spawns, so, um, if it comes down to it, I only want there to be marlins. <laughs> Alright, let's see. And I screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, this, this sometimes takes a while, because I am not good at fishing. There we go. Okay, so once you actually catch it, all you have to do is just mash A and rotate the circle pad. And then you got your Marlin. And then we can just use the Farcaster, get back to camp, and turn in the quest. And it's as simple as that. And then from there, we will get these tickets called design patterns or something like that. And then you'll need 10 of them to make both armor sets and um, both weapons. So Mr. Rossetti has a pick and Isabel has a little clipboard as you can see. And it is possible to get two as well at the end of the quest. Get two tickets. Design patterns, yeah. So that's, that's what you need in order to make the, the Animal Crossing DLC stuff. And just to end, I'm going to show you the uh, the stats on each weapon as well. So, as I said, there was a binder 
for Isabel, and there was a pickaxe for Mr. Rossetti. So the binder has 160 melee, 32 ranged, and it's ice, and it takes two design patterns. So uh, that's what that looks like on Isabel's armor. And then there's also the pick, which is right there. And that has basically the same stats, except it's cutting type, and it has uh, paralyze instead of ice. And now, there's no head armor for the Animal Crossing. It, all it takes is just the body armor. And so you can put whatever head you want on, and it'll still look like Isabel or Mr. Rossetti. And the chest armor. So this is Mr. Rossetti. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. So it gives 100 defense. And Isabel is the exact same. And that's what it looks like. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Personally, I think the Animal Crossing costumes are pretty neat. The only bad thing is all the Animal Crossing gibberish they spit out. But again, thank you for watching, and make sure you leave a comment and hit the like button if this was helpful, and I will see you guys later.